Hey everybody, it's the coach. Welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New England Patriots. With that, let's head on up to Foxborough. Standing by with the call at Gillette Stadium, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots, introduced to this, as always, sold-out crowd as they get set to go head-to-head -head with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Brandon God and Charles Davis, thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. This is fielded at the goal line. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career. But that will to win, he's had that probably since birth, and it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. Wait, that 380! Mike 54! You're not ready! You're not ready! Regular, regular! They'll run it here. This is James White. Give him three there on the first play of the game, and it's second down. And now we take a peek at the Patriot offense. I love the versatility of Marcus Cannon. He can play guard, he can play tackle. I think his footwork has really improved during his time in the NFL. He has one of the better backstories that you're going to get. This is a guy who was diagnosed with cancer, has beaten that, and now is one of the better players in the NFL. Wait, that, wait, what is it? Sony Michelle, his first carry. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. I wonder if the defense might have been loosened up a little bit, maybe anticipating a pass instead of the run that they got. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Let's go, defense. First down, here's White. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. And a quick look at the Buccaneer defensive starters. And Dominican Sue provokes a whole lot of conversation. But at the end, everyone agrees, one of the best defensive tackles in the NFL. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He lost two there, and it's third down. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. 
And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Let's go, D, let's go. From the gun, it's Brady. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. And yeah, Tampa Bay trots out there now. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now it's the former Badger, Dare Ogunbowale, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and that's going to make it second and 14. It's probably a pretty good sign here on the opening drive if your guys from the secondary are coming up and spilling things in the backfield. How about the adrenaline and aggressiveness that led his eyes to the backfield to run up there and make that tackle, setting a tone early for his defense. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Jameis to throw it. Hit from behind, and he's going to be driven down. Two plays so far, a run and a pass attempt, and both have gone backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not at all. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Winston needing a big play after the sack as he leads the Bucks up on third and long. From the shotgun, it's Winston. He finds his tight end, Howard, that's complete. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football, and got to him, and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. A big kick there, we'll call it 56 yards on the punt, and the Patriots take over. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, they were intercepted the first time they had the football, but now they get it back, and it's still 0-0. And because of that, you know what the thought process is? Interception. What interception? It didn't really happen because they gave up no points. So go back on the attack. Go back and run the offense you believe will be successful. Find your playmakers and give them the football. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 21. This drive starts out on the ground with Michelle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. Absolutely love the run right there. This guy's known for his quickness, but also for his speed. He's able to get to the second level almost before you blink if you give him any type of blocking. Always talk about slot receivers. They're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll run it. This is Michelle. Levante David in on the tackle. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Throwing quickly, that's caught by Sanu. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And all the way down to the 41-yard line. 
A gain there of 21 yards. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Brady gives to Michelle. And he'll bring this one inside the 35. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But I also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. The Bucs with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. Brandon, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. Wait, They go right back to White here on first down. And he's got about five yards as he's taken down right at the 25. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Wait, that round 80, round 80. On second down, Michelle. And they'll halt things here for an injury. And that looks to be Sony Michelle who's down. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. The eighth play of the drive coming up. It's third and three. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you've got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the pass three. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. And the 13-year man puts it through, and the Patriots jump out to a 3-0 lead. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there, 10-play drive. But they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. Ten play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. Goskowski now converted for three. Now he'll kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. 
Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like in the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little bit I jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> Winston and the Bucks take over now, first and 10 at their own 23. Working out of the gun, Winston. He's going to look deep for Perriman. And that is incomplete. Showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail, second down. A lot of contact there, but there was no way it appeared that he was going to get a flag on that one. Looking for it, but he wasn't going to get it. And as an ex-defensive back, you love it when they let you play and jostle downfield. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Here's Hogan Bawale. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. Okay, he didn't break that one all the way, but you got to know that he feels like he's right on the verge, and that's probably exactly what he's telling them in the huddle right now. Ready? Black! Watch the Watch the Let's go, Pete. Tighten it. Here we go. There's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man, and he gets it to the 34. Go. Good Let's enough go. for the Let's first. Go. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. I haven't met a football team yet that runs the ball successfully that doesn't talk about having an attitude to be a running football team, right? You got to be able to put your nose in there, smell where the first down sticks are, and get there. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Let's go, team. Let's go. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards on the play and a Buccaneer first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance, believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll try to throw now. Winston looking for his running back, and he's got it. And that play goes nowhere. Taken down, losing yardage at the 50, right at midfield. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. A run with Ogan Bawale. The second down play, not much better than the first, just a gain of one there. We haven't seen much from him running the football here in this first quarter. No, you're right about that. We haven't seen much of him at all so far. They've stacked him up pretty well, but when you're trying to run the football, sometimes you've got to play the long game. Keep handing it to him, and some of those runs that aren't working now, they turn into six, seven, eight, and maybe more later on. On third down, Winston. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. That one sails out of bounds. The side judge will walk it off. And he says it went out of bounds at the nine-yard line. Nice punt. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Go. 
The Pats at the line, ready to go. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one that I've ever met. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Wait, that, wait, put it! Brady deferring to White on the draw. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with the draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? Well, you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. Perhaps they overthought this one a little bit. They've been running it real well on this drive, and it was third and short, okay? They decided to throw the football incomplete. Yeah, they might have thought just a little bit too hard about that play selection. The Patriots send out their punter. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Bucs are going to take over first and 10 deep in their own territory. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Ready. Winston and the Bucs take over now first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. From the gun, Winston. Got a man, it's Brashad Perriman. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. That's good for a Buccaneer first, a pickup of 12 yards. Jameis now on first down. Open man is Howard, the tight end. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Winston, a handoff. This is Jones. And he'll wind up with about six, up past the 30 to the 31. Good, strong run against the 3-4 set. And that 3-4, you've got to have you guys up front eat up a lot of blocks. The guy playing over the center, the nose, he usually has to take on double teams. But when you're able to successfully move him, you're often able to get some yardage. And that's when linebackers have to clean up and make tackles. Here's Winston. will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. 
so instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. A big boot that time. 57 yards the official distance. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Getting set to go again. Mohamed Sanu is marching back onto the field now. Second quarter here. He has only one catch, but they have the lead. You got to think, though, he's going to be more involved at some point. That's what you would expect, but sometimes what defenses do to take away a player of his magnitude, it costs them in other areas. And right now, with them losing, they may have to change their focus, and maybe he will open up a little bit more as the game goes on. Yeah, well, so far, just the single catch. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 23. Now Brady, and this one brought in by Sanu. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Here's Brady, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. New England on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Shotgun now for Brady. Caught by Sanu. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here. You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. And we shift to spotlighting Mike Evans. You better believe that he's well aware he has zero catches right now, and they're losing, so he's probably a little hungry. And you know the guys on defense are aware as well, and they're really excited that he has no catches, but they're also worried because a lot of times that's like the ticking time bomb. The longer you hold him down, when he finally explodes, look out. Yeah, no catches, though, so far in this game. The first down throw for Winston. There's the Penn State man, it's Chris Godwin. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Nothing flashy there, the slant to the slot. Oh, and the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang-bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. So the previous play, a big help, as now they'll have it first and 10 up at the 20. Here's Winston. He's got this one complete to Perriman. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Jones. 
And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. 10 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. He used the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. And to give this time to the tailback. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. Came out in a power set, but that only served to put more men in the box. And guess what? If you're going to do that, you've got to win up front, right? Your offensive guys have got to beat the defenders. They lost all leverage on that play. Now on second and 13, Winston, it's caught by Mike Evans. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. The Bucks on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and eight. They run it. It's Ogan Bawale. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on to punt for Tampa Bay. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Come on, baby. Let's go! Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked so well. Go to so something well, else. And maybe you try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try to hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Brady and the Patriots now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They start to drive with White, and the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. He stayed afloat for a second there after the first wave of contact, but it, he, that was going nowhere. Yeah, what did he tell us in pregame? I just don't want to get my feet stopped initially when I'm trying to make a run. That's exactly what happened there. Unfortunately, as you noted, got away a little bit from the first one, but the wave swarmed him under. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, they'll run with White. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. We remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll take you to Orlando and Jonathan Coachman. Coach will have highlights and analysis of this first half, one that's featured no touchdowns as of yet on either side. So his job's a little bit easier for this halftime. Need to give the, need to give the coach some highlights here. Yes, we do. The Patriots send out their punter, standing right on his own five-yard line. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. 
And Tampa Bay trots out there now. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Winston. That's complete to his receiver, Gadwin. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good pickup there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. Looking to throw again on second down. Winston, and that is incomplete here. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Complete, he finds Bray. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. But Buccaneer first, Winston to break. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. First and 10, Winston. He finds his target, it's Evans. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Clock running, the Bucks try to go quickly and get set. To throw again on second down, Winston. And his throw here is incomplete. After the incompletion here now, third and two. Jameis again. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. That's good for a Buccaneer first to pick up of 12 yards. Could we get a touchdown in this first half after all? It's first and ten. They'll throw again. Winston. Under pressure, and he will go down. Sat back at the 38. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Yeah. 
So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. This officially a 55-yard attempt. We're going to shut you down. We're going to shut you down. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 29. And he will be brought down as time is now run out on this first half of action. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights. But that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. This one fielded at the 5. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Winston and the Bucks take over now, first and 10, just shy of the 30. They'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Two yards on the carry there, it'll be second down. Watching that play unfold and watching him complete it brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over-pursue and let a guy get a cutback lane on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. Now it's first and 10, a big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Jameis to throw it. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. The veteran Stephon Gilmore able to break that one up. And we just saw another example. These cornerbacks have played tight coverage all game long. Might start wanting to think about a few double, triple move routes to try and shake their guys free. They have, you're right, they have had no room to breathe. On second down, Winston again. 
Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 39. First down, Tampa Bay. Winston now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. That throw good for four. It's second down. yards on that last completion so that sets up second and six again it's Winston this into the hands of his running back Ronald Jones now that play is blown up losing yardage back at the 35 They need to get to the 29 if they want to pick up a first here on third down. To the air again with Winston. Open man is Miller. He's got it. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And that was a heck of a shot right there by Jameis Winston. Boy, he has a superior right arm, doesn't he? You saw him play baseball. Yeah, and he's actually a switch hitter in baseball. Outfielder and then, of course, a very hard-throwing pitcher. That's translated well in the National Football League. That it has. When he has to make that throw on a line, he's got plenty of arm to do it. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. Now Jones. Jones hit in the ball zone. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing, not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but the other team doesn't get it. That's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Draw play, Winston to Jones. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Two straight shots on the ground, now on third do you go to the air. I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Gay's kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. So they come away from this opening drive of the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. This is fielded at the goal line. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Tom Brady leads.
leads the offense out for their next possession. And he comes out on the heels of an interception he threw last time they had the ball. Yeah, and you know, the quarterbacks that I know that are the best ones, the ones that really know how to lead their team, they tell them, that's on me. That's my bad. But let's go back out there and move ahead again, guys. We can get this done. One good thing for them, it did only lead to three points and not a touchdown after that turnover. Big thanks to the defense. So Brady and the Pats take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Give him 15 yards on that one. And New England has a first down. The former seventh-round pick, Julian Edelman, just continues to have such a productive career. And has made himself into a receiver. Remember, he was a college quarterback, and not just a productive one, a very good one. At Kent State, right? Yes, a great leader, a guy who could make plays with his feet and his arm. Got to the NFL and had to convert into being a receiver and was drafted that way. And that conversion, <laughs> oh boy, it's been good. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Brady gives this to White, and he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. Wait, set. Round 80. Round 80. Go. What he hit? On second and nine, Brady, he's got White here. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That's a game of three. It's third and seven. The last catch did get three, but they're still left needing seven yards on third down. From the gun, it's Brady. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. So from Buccaneer territory now, it's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. On the ground is Michelle. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. Throwing on second and eight, Brady. It's complete, James White. No gain there, and it's going to bring up a third down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no yardage. Okay. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And able to find Dorsett. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. That goes for a gain of 31. They're still looking for their first touchdown of the game, and for a second, I thought they had it right there. Now looking on the sideline, it's finally good to see nods of approval. It's a welcome sign of life that this offense needed. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. On the draw, here's White. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, this is the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. They stay on the ground. This time it's Michelle. 
And here he'll get it down to the seven. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. A field goal would get him the lead, but that's not what they're shooting for as they come up on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. This is caught. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. It's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Might we see our first touchdown of the game? Here's first and goal. And they will run it with Michelle. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots have taken the lead. They got a little bit of everything on that run. Offensive line creating some space, but how about the guy running behind his pads into the end zone? What does that mean when a guy says running behind his pad? It means that he's going to be a physical runner. That way he's able to use his shoulder pads, his forearms, anything to ward off people to power his way forward. Now Steven Goskowski on for the extra point. And it is up. It's good. That'll make our score 10 to 3 now. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was Sony Michelle's touchdown scamper that polished the drive off. Goskowski now, after the touchdown, he'll send this one away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Winston and the Bucks take over now, first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Working out of the gun, Winston. Open man is Howard, the tight end. Just a yard on the catch there, it'll be second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. They only got a yard out of that last completion and that makes this second and nine. Winston. Forced out to his left. He'll run it. They'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The 
Bucks on third down. Not quite 50%, four for nine. This time it's third and three. From the gun, Winston. And this is gonna be incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field is popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went, no adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Brady going to throw. Caught by Sanu. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. My next teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. It, he's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that. And that's what he did. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that. And having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Brady now 12 of 17 through the air as he leads his guys up on first down. Operating from the gun. Brady, he's going to air it out for Dorsett. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. I remember Philip Dorsett coming out of the University of Miami, ready to hit the league. All we talked about was speed, speed, speed. Just throw it to him, and you've got a great chance at a completion. But not that time. Not that time. They tried it deep downfield with his speed, but incomplete. Brady's incompletion on first down leads to a second and ten. They'll run out of the gun with Michelle. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead them to third down. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation. And taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. New England on third down, not quite 50%, four for nine. This is third and eight. From the gun, Brady. Yeah, that one's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. Devin White, the rookie out of LSU, there to bat that one away. Critical play in this football game because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them because they know if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The Patriots send out their punter. He's been terrific so far. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And no return here. Where will they spot him? They say just outside the 20-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. 
make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Winston and the Bucks take over now first and 10 at their own 22 to throw Winston. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. A gain of six there on first. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six-foot, six-inch target. It is indeed. Quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six-six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He had told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up in the top shelf where the kids can't get it. On second down, it's Jones. And some room to maneuver. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now. But that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 45-yard line. A handoff here to Ogan Bawale. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get bowled over by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. On second and nine, Winston. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. The Bucks on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. They're up against a third and one situation. Here's Barber, and he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Winston. And that'll wind up incomplete. Trying to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. On play action, Winston. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. He didn't, so it's incomplete. Boy, that one really could have turned this thing upside down. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught grabbing their jerseys. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Here's Winston. He's got this one complete to Perriman. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Bucks on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. Now whistles here before the snap. Looked like one of the Bucks may have moved. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. He 
So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Now Winston. And that is incomplete. A fourth and very long coming up. You're out of field goal range. I don't know that you can go for this. Well, I know that you want to, right? You know that they want to say, hey, let's go for this. We've got the perfect play drawn up. Let's do it. But I wouldn't go for it either. I agree with you totally. You only down one score. Punt it. Let your defense pick you up. Oh, they come after him, and it's blocked. It's picked up, and this is a live ball, remember. 20, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Patriots. In for the score. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Partners, you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. The point after try for Goskowski. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. Not only did they block it, the awareness to go and grab it and then take it into the end zone for six points. Goskowski now after the touchdown he'll send this one away this will be taken in at the one then he'll take this across the 25 couple extra yards up to the 27 yard line and making their way back out there now the Patriots defense Winston and the Bucks take over now, first and 10 at their own 27. Now Winston. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it indeed. Here come the flags. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. First down, Winston. And he finds Howard complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you got a heck of a tight end candidate. Ready. So Ready. into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 27. I can't believe they let you play. From the shotgun, it's Winston. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And he loses the football a second time. Let go. 
I don't know about you, but I can hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. And a scary incompletion, almost picked off. It would have been their first INT of the game. Instead, second down. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. They'll run it now, out of the goal. And he'll take this one down near the 15. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try and defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? On third down, Winston. And break, the tight end's got it. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Did they maybe play that too safely on third down? I know you don't want to just throw a ball blindly downfield, but that didn't help them a whole lot. I think they probably said if it's open, take the shot. If not, get something safe because we do have fourth down to try and pick it up. They're going to try for it on fourth. Winston stays out there. Now Winston on fourth down. And he's got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. A 14-yard touchdown as his guys are back within a single score. Boy, it's nice to have that big, reliable target you can go to. Each and every time. A lot of people see that position as a fallback. Throw it to them when all else fails. Not at all. This guy can make plays, and that's exactly what he just did. Yeah, play here for a touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And it's up through the goal post. It's 17-10. That time, a six-play drive. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays they are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. 
Well, here's a good way to kick off the drive, complete over the middle. And it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And he's able to get it back to the 33-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we could make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. A look at Jameis Winston now as he gears up to lead this offense again. Well, the situation, very simple here. Late game, down seven. They've got to get it in the end zone. And the best players know how to be calm in these situations because you know right now his pulse is like a jackhammer. So how does he rein it in, make sure the team has a little bit of calm, coupled with that sense of urgency, got walked out wide a little bit, but get it downfield in order to score, and then put the pressure on the guy who kicks the ball because he could tie the game. It's been a fun game. It all comes down to this. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. down throw for Winston. That's caught by Howard. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Now that's an offensive line you and I can play behind. How about the amount of time they gave their guy to scan the field and find someone open? Had all night, and in a game like this, Probably should just put a spotlight on them instead of the quarterback. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Throwing again on second down. Winston. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. And over the dime look on defense, two extra defensive backs on the field have covered up essentially every blade of grass. That allowed them to disrupt the play. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And this play goes nowhere, losing yardage back to the 15. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Ready. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. Down seven, and they've got to go for it here on fourth down. Here's Winston. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Jason McCourty. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. They begin with Michelle on the ground, and he's going to be stacked up right at the line of scrimmage. Nothing there for him. Second down. For 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Again, it's Michelle. And he's not even able to get back to the line of scrimmage. And there's also a flag down. And it's in the area of holding. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. Now after the holding call, here's second and 20. Following the penalty, Michelle. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Brady gives to Michelle. And a short pickup here as he'll get across the 10 to the 11-yard line. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. The Patriots send out their punter as the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So now Winston and the Bucks trailing 17-10. A little over a minute and a half remaining. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Out to the left there and complete to Howard. That throw good for four. It's second down. No timeout, you gotta go quick here. Now Jameis trying to hurry his crew to the line. They'll look to throw. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. That's exactly what they were looking for. If they get another gain like that, they'll be right there in field goal range. And the tension building. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Winston. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you've got to get up there and spike it. First down now, but that clock rolling. Winston to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he gets it down to the 32. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Patriots winners here at home as we say so long from Foxborough.